okay there is i think now it is fine you can hear me can you please let me know can you guys hear me now yes aa gaya voice okay perfect thank you ठीक है तो चालू करते हैं वी आर गोइंग बी वॉचिंग विद इट्स गेम एंड सागर इज गोइंग टू बी ज्वाइनिंग अस वेरी वेरी सून गाइस सो वेलकम टू एवरीवन इन द चैट हाउ आर यू गाइस आई एम वेरी वेरी गुड लेट अस लुक एट विद इट्स गेम सो ही वाज ब्लैक शिरो स्टार्टेड विद ई फोर ई फाइव नाइट एफ थ्री नाइट सी सिक्स and bishop b5 we have the rai lopez here a6 was played bishop a4 knight f6 i think everything else is fine i believe just checking one more time yes super flip does sagar flip or do we generally have white i don't remember but let me know maybe let's do flip okay knight f6 castle and knight takes e4 so we are going into uh, open spanish after d4 was played sagar is going to join us very soon guys he is outside right now where is ocean <laughs> d4 b5 bishop b3 and d5 is played this is open spanish which that which we are looking at d takes c5 everything is a very standard theory bishop e6 and shiro played knight bd2 there is another way to continue other main lines where you go c3 first black will develop bishop c5 and you go bishop c2 knight d2 that's another line but shiro played knight bd2 bishop e7 knight takes e4 d takes c4 bishop takes e6 and f takes e6 was played here your white played a very interesting move uh he played knight g5 but it is not a free piece guys because for bishop g5 very quickly i'm not going to uh, put the chat moves right now because there will be this white screen flickering but i will ask you in the chat what should white play to regain the piece back very easy it's very easy so please uh, quickly write it in the chat okay i have oh in fact a lot of people actually are mentioning queen takes d8 guys that would be a super blunder because of you just right now gave your piece your knight your full piece and if you play queen takes d8 then black can simply capture with the bishop and he is a piece up this extra piece here so that would not be a good idea you have to regain the piece back and yes i have got other answers neha m sumit puri shreyas singh chess is fun anand tendulkar veer not veer vivek saraswat queen h5 is the right move it's a check and you are also attacking the g5 bishop so you will gain that back g6 was played by vidit uh you can see he vidit at this point had 1 minute 1 hour 16 minutes uh let me go back where did he really use the time yeah for knight g5 he actually calculated for 10 minutes while playing bishop g5 because it is a forcing calculation the way he has to do it queen h5 g6 again you don't want a king in the center so that is how you have to calculate and after queen g5 here he castled so at this point he did not use any time of his castle was played yeah castle castle queen g4 absolutely if shiro gets a chance to retain his queens he is going to do that because he loves to attack now that we know so queen g4 was played he is attacking the e4 pawn and uh, black can take on e5 but after losing e4 even the e6 will be weak so vidit plays queen d5 
defends e4 and now e5 is actually attacked twice so not possible to defend it bishop h6 there is a counter attack you see but knight e5 is a tempo that is what the intermezzo is with it captured the pawn and if you count the pawns number of pawns right now black is a pawn up the only difference is there is this double pawn and that too in the open file and that too it's an isolated double pawn meaning there is no other pawn which is going to be supporting no other pawn on d or f file so the pawns have to be really weak let us see but, but let's not forget he's a pawn up queen h4 was played uh rook d8 he saved his rook he went to d rook to d8 well i would have considered a move like rook f7 here oh which is a bad move super bad move why would it be a bad move guys can you can you tell me what white should play Do you plan to look at the Rappo game given him competing with Vidit for the win in Group C? Yes, absolutely. We will look at Rappo as well. Ah, yes, guys. Rook D1. You attack the Queen. And uh, where do you go with the Queen? Let's say you go a move like Queen C5. The problem is Rook D8. And after Rook D8, Queen takes D8 is going to be a mate. Because Rook F8 means you will lose material. So rook d1 is a huge threat if you leave the 8th rank open. With it went rook fd8 and now rook d1 is stopped. It would be a blunder because of takes, takes, rook d1 and it's a mate. So queen f6 was played by Shiro. Now he's threatening mate in 1. Also going to be keeping pressure on the e6 pawn. With it defends the mate, he played rook d7, uh, h3. This is a prophylactic move in future, getting rid of all the back rank mating ideas. So he plays h3. Also, knight g4 was another threat if you look at it, and uh, this exchange would have happened. So h3 is a very uh, good move. White played. Here, with it went knight c4. Knight is very well placed, putting pressure on b2 point. Um, rook d1 is still under control. It's not happening. Or is it? Wait a second. That's what Shirov played. Rook a d1. So guys, what happens if black plays queen takes d1? Can you tell me what happens if black plays queen takes d1? It is a mistake. Why? Sagar is going to join very, very soon. Until Sagar joins, let's spam Ocean OP. Then we will go to the loop. Pathetic joke. Okay. Yeah, people are alert. Queen takes e6 check. And if you go king h8, you can simply take rook d1, rook d1, king h2. In general, the king is very weak. The bishop is going to be shifted on this diagonal and it's going to be not possible to defend because right now itself the idea is bishop g5 and bishop f6 meet. Maximum is something you might try rook d6, but then queen e4, I attack your rook, win another pawn. So here the queen is way stronger than the two rooks. Okay, let's go back to the game. He played rook a d1 and with it played queen e5. Challenging the queen, a nice idea here because uh, he's a pawn up. Queen e5, queen takes e5. Alas, white had to exchange. Knight takes c5 and bishop f4 was played. This rook has been defended after knight takes e5. So he plays bishop f4. I can't move my knight. So this rook takes d1 here is forced. Rook takes d1. And back to the c4 square. 
you are now attacking b2 but don't forget that the control of d7 is lost so rook d7 rook on 7th rank is going to be a direct entry there shirav played b4 b3 right now so both are having equal time almost and uh, only 17 moves are pending b3 the knight has to decide where to go the knight not many squares b6 and d6 if he goes knight d6 it's like giving back the pawn going into a rook end game that should be better for white but let us just try to check takes takes and if rook takes d6 happens king f7 rook d7 check king f6 and rook takes h7 we'll land up in such a position where um, there is slight initiative for white because the pawns are weak but black's king is a little bit active white is a pawn up so white will try to push and this is not a preferable position for black to go for hence he will definitely calculate a move like knight b6 controlling the d7 square as well but again what happens for bishop c7 i missed rook d8 after bishop d6 oh did i let me just check that okay here if you go bishop c7 black it's the pawns are equal but the knight sits very strongly on d5 defended by the e6 pawn you're attacking the bishop the bishop goes back mm, with the idea of c4 but you don't have time rook c8 attacking the c2 pawn and stopping c4 as well uh, the only way to defend is rook d2 and black can start improving his position and the knight sits here comfortably so this should be okay for black looks like it's going towards equal position what was played no not yet b3 has been played what i had missed was knight d6 as suggested in the chat after bishop d6 it's a bad move you can see because of rook d8 oh there is a pin down here so black can stay a pawn up can he or is he going to lose the e4 pawn that's the question so rook let's say i go rook d4 trying to attack the pawn c takes d6 so that tr trying to say both are together rook takes e4 and king f7 such a position pawns are equal but the pawn islands are very different black has three pawn islands you know the connected pawns wherever there is a separation there is no pawn there the island breaks that's the pawn island and white has two pawn islands it's a rook end game it can't be better for anybody it can't be it has to be equal if at all anything it has to be for black some slight chances so uh, going back to the game oh this has happened it seems rook d2 let me go back uh, to knight d6 move that was played in the game and shirav played rook d4 directly without taking on d6 now his idea is bishop d6 and now bishop d6 you don't consider a move like rook d8 because bishop e5 would defend and rook d8 would be a blunder white has weakness though black has more pawn islands absolutely gaurav totally agreed but uh, that um, it wouldn't be enough already rook end games many times with material up also it's not easy so with accurate play it should be possible to defend that is equalized yeah So, um, any update on India's got ch chess talent? I think Sagar is working on that every day. So, uh, he should be the best person. Also, the coaches are right now traveling. There were tournaments. So, yeah, we will have the update. Okay. Rook d4. This is the position we are at. And mostly should end up in equal let us have a look at the other games as well 
तबा तबाई एंड अनिश गिरी इज द गेम विच वी वॉन्ट टू हैव अ लुक एट ओ ऑलरेडी इट्स सुपर इक्वल बिकॉज देर आर नो पॉन्स ऑन एनी ऑफ दीज फाइल्स द ओनली इम्बैलेंस इज द बिशप वर्स इज नाइट लुक एट दिस रुक एंड नाइट एंड क्वीन डजेंट इट लुक डेंजरस इन स्पाइट ऑफ सच लेस मटीरियल थ्री पीसेस फॉर द अटैक आर ऑलरेडी सीन जी थ्री वॉज द लास्ट मूवियर विच वॉज प्लेड बिकॉज देर इज अ Oh, I thought there is a threat, but there is not a threat because knight h3 is controlled by queen h3, so knight h3 is not a threat. Knight e2, there is king h1, so he played g3 anyway. Knight is not technically attacked, and everything is controlled surprisingly. Very surprising that. the position is so equal i would say if anybody has to be careful it is white because the queen and knight are together it's ah look at this move by anish wow what a simple tactic guys what happens for queen takes d2 it's a blunder very 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 quickly i want to see the moves super fast in the chat चेस इज फन रितंकर नाथ धर्मिष्ठ परमार सोहम नॉट सोहम यूनिवर्स सनत कुमार अर्जुन बालामुरली आलोक राज काजल नाइक निशांत सेठ दिव्यांश यस 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 गाइज दैट इज फास्ट आई एम सुपर हैप्पी बिकॉज डिस्को बिकॉज इट्स द टाइम फॉर डिस्को क्वीन डी टू वुड बी अ सुपर ब्लंडर बिकॉज you see three pieces in one diagonal and as we know three pieces in one line or one file or a diagonal and there is going to be a discovered attack so knight h3 and you lose the piece so rook d2 is a very nice little nasty trick of course there are number of ways to defend the most uh obvious one would be queen f5 because you are threatening queen h7 mid at the same time you are also threatening to exchange the queen and if you let's say try uh, where can the oh the queen cannot defend and defend this because this is controlled by the rook your anyway it gets exchanged this square is not available so queen exchange is almost forced max you have this check here king goes here and the queens will get exchanged and this will end in a draw so taba tabai anish giri will also end in a draw guys this position let us also have a look at Hari Krishna's game. Hari Krishna is black. This is the current position. Hari is having twenty-eight minutes, and this is the twenty-second move. That means eighteen more moves. So time-wise, he is fine. Is as we look at the position, it's the same colored bishops here. Material is also equal. In fact, only one pawn has been exchanged, and. Um, rooks pieces yeah two knights rook let us try to understand this guys what do you think practically also do you guys think this is an equal position tell me equal yeah yes super equal <laughs> okay queen c5 currently b4 is attacked is this the threat bishop takes b4 let's say i make a let's say black makes a random move okay can white take bishop takes b4 that's the question for you guys can white take bishop takes b4 maybe i should not go ha ah, yes king h7 bishop
यस यस रुग्बी फाइव इन दिशप ओके गाइज रुग्बी फाइव डेफिनेटली अ थ्रेट इयर बट ब्लैक वाइट हैज क्वीन ए फेट एंड दैट्स वाई यू डोंट विन द बिशप एज सच बट देर इज अज अमाउंट ऑफ प्ले विच ब्लैक विल गेट बिकॉज ऑफ इज रुक बींग एक्टिवेटेड द क्वीन बींग टाइट डाउन इन डिफेंस ऑफ दिस बिशप ऑल्सो द बिशप कैन नॉट इजीली गो बैक बिकॉज बी टू इज वीक रुक इज एब्सोल्युटली आउट ऑफ द गेम दिस सी टू पॉन इज अंडर प्रेशर देर आर थ्रेट्स लाइक बिशप एच फोर सो यू कैन सी दिस ट्राइंग टू बी ग्रीडी एंड कैप्चरिंग द पॉन गिव सो मच प्ले फॉर ब्लैक दैट्स वाई इट्स नॉट अ वेरी गुड आइडिया so uh, after queen c5 but imagine if you have if you have the king over there okay then there would be queen f8 as a check so in the same kind of situation queen c5 well black also has an idea right now which is b3 or he may think of directly attacking the queen on c5 but then queen takes c7 can come and queen e2 all the time black queen is reaching this important e2 square which is a seventh rank and there is going to be pressure on everybody here like everybody so this space which he gets because of the pawns cannot be underestimated i would say there can be some practically slight um, ideas for black only because of this open file and if white is able to get his rook on e1 then there is queen a2 maybe so uh, this was the last position where black played queen e6 in fact in this position he did not go queen e2 i am very surprised why he could go queen e2 what would happen here oh look at these ideas which white has white can play queen c7 attacking the b8 rook the position is actually very very complicated no matter how simple it looks or how equal it looks there are a lot of subtle tactics happening and subtle pressure hi ready <laughs> one second how are you i'm good what is this Hey, you are wearing soul. Without meat. With whom did you go? <laughs> I was listening to the commentary from the train. Acha. And okay. I was saying ocean op or something. Ha. So everybody was like, "Jab tak sagar nahi aayega, tab tak ocean op karenge ab." So you're the sagar, right? So. Ha. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But Amruta, tell me what's happening. Ha. What's happening? Okay, so actually speaking, draw is happening everywhere. <laughs> draw, but with it, uh, I thought was in some trouble, no? No, he was never in any trouble. Aja. With it. Because was... rook d one, you said rook d one, then my train came rook queen d one, <laughs> and I thought he's losing or what? <laughs> oh God! One second. Ha. So this was no, no, no. Where at this point, na rook d one? Yeah. Ah, he because went. I was analyzing rook f seven would be a blunder hmm. because of rook d one. Rook d one, rook d eight. And rook d eight. That's the point you would have seen. But he did not play rook f seven. Oh, so till what point was theory? So theory was until actually speaking. Did you check on chess? Yes, I did. I mean, I didn't show it to them. I checked before I went. Hmm. So bishop at six ninety five, queen h four is there is a game which was played. Like year until year, something like this. Ah. And Vidya has played the open rail up is as well. But this knight g five move which uh, Shirov played, if you go back. In fact, this is also yeah, this knight g five move. It's not year, very common. Not at all very common. And uh, Vidya kind of thought for ten minutes here. Okay. Capturing. Got it. So here, <clears throat> the main thing is that black has won a pawn. Ah. <laughs> but the problem is that. His king is too weak. Yeah, exactly. King is weak, but it depends. Yeah. One second. And rook d seven. Hmm. H three because you know, guys, the main problem is that if you go rook d one here, then I can take, take, and it's a checkmate on the back rank. So that's the reason why Shirov decided to play h three before playing rook d one. 
and also stops knight g4 for the future right and then uh, knight c4 was played by vidit i think the idea is to clear the e5 square for the queen yeah if necessary that's what he played because the queen, queen e5 and you can't take the rook because the queen is hanging and you take the queen then the knight takes and knight defends the rook correct so takes takes bishop f4 now the point is that if you save the knight then your rook is hanging so you have to take rook takes yeah it kind of happened in a forcing manner knight c4 and b3 here there was a nice point like there's knight d6 and knight b6 did he play yeah he played knight d6 knight d6 because if for bishop d6 sir there's a nice point uh, which was Rook D eight, yeah, right? Rook D eight. Now Pinning. this was one position which we tried to think. Rook D eight, Rook D four. C takes D six and Rook E four, where um, it's. E4 but but I think after King F seven, Black is the one pushing, right? Because E five, King E six, D five. I mean, he's getting the play. Yeah, but that play would not be enough. Against a person like Shiro, I would say. True. But, true. But at least, yeah. But Shiro was careful, and he didn't even yeah. give that chance. He went rook d four. Hmm. And now, with it, uh, could have clung on to his pawn here with rook d eight. Yeah. Right, rook d eight. Uh, Same similar thing. Bishop d. No, he, bishop d. Six. No, but if you take ah. take, we know that Same. this is slightly Same. better. Correct. But c four with the idea of c five. And uh, maybe with it didn't want to get there. Correct. So he said, "Let me go king f seven." And now the point is, uh, if you allow me to go king d e seven and defend my knight, I'll still be fine. Same, no, still the same thing, na right? Now also he can take bishop d six. Later also. He can no, but now he can d6. take bishop d six, c d six, and rook d six. If my king is here, then ah, you have to take e four. Okay, so okay. then so now I'm left with two weak pawns. Hmm. But king f six. I was But thinking, my active king. Can we go rook c eight and take this? Yeah. Then you go rook a six. Like you allow rook take c six. Yeah. Yeah. Rook a six. Rook c two. Hmm. But do you really want to give him one uh, pawn on that side? Why? Why to do that? Yeah, but I mean, this should be drawn. Hmm. Or maybe yeah, like rook b seven and white is still pushing a bit. Because he wins the b five pawn. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe with it has to be a little careful here, King F seven, and try to play it a little more safely. Like after take take Rook takes, go King F six with the idea of King E five. Yeah, I like this. This is solid. And then you will try to get the chicken in the coop by playing B four. Huh? What chicken? <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? Isn't it that thing which? <laughs> Hmm. Which is there in the end game books? Chicken in the coop is like if suppose uh, there is an outside passer, huh. then you create an outside passer, then he has to go here, and then you get into this, and then you attack this. That's so what the is the bind? Like if I have this one pawn stopping, the clamping three the position. Okay. <laughs> so chicken in the coop, what? <laughs> Gupta Bihari, welcome to the backer of Indian chess. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank you for becoming Gupta. the member. Raghav says, "The funny thing is that when Sagar came and said hello, that time my electricity came." Mm. By the way, while I was on my way back, I got to know uh, that there was a oh, big, big news what? that Shane won. Really? Who is How? Uh, one of uh, the world's finest How? Uh, bowlers? How? In cricket, he passed away by uh, heart attack. I mean, that's what they have mentioned in the reports. And I remember that when I was growing up, I watched him bowl, oh and his rivalry with uh, some of the greatest batsmen like Sachin, Brian Lara, um, they were epic. And he was a very vibrant personality. And um, yeah. Oh my God, that's a so, very very uh, sad news. He was Rakshit says he was only fifty two years old. Yeah. So he he is super super normal, no? This heart attack would be like a shocking thing. Yeah, I'm not sure about his health before that, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's of course surprising. He's just fifty two years old. Hmm. Okay, coming back to the games, one of the games that we should definitely keep an eye out on is the game between Richard Rapport yes. and Fedosiev, because in this group, 
if Vidit is drawing his game against Shirov, he will move to two and a half. Then what will happen between Fedosiev and Rapport? Because Fedosiev is on one and a half and Rapport is on two. So here the position is looking interesting. Uh, both sides have four pawns each. And last move was knight a5. So I'm threatening to take on c6 mm -hmm. with my knight. And if I am able to take this, then I might have some ideas like this. So for example, you go h6. Then I go knight takes c6. And after rook b3, I want all of you to find the winning move for white here. White to play and win. Guys. Uh, did you put the chat chess moves? No, because I said it will take off. Trakshan says yes, he was completely fixed. Oh. Sorry guys for the whiteboard just. Yep. So the move that I was looking Sorry, for here. 97 check. Yes, that is absolutely right. It is knight e7 check. And uh, good job, guys. That is the correct move. Ah, Amruta, you have been out of the screen, it seems. No. No? No, no, no. So knight e7 is the correct move here because after a check, bishop takes, rook takes, you lose the exchange. So you can't play this. And that's the reason why actually a move like h6 is a horrible mistake. So the move that needs to be played has to be taken carefully into consideration. And knight e5 has been played by Richard Rapport. A good move controlling the square on c6. And now Amruta, if I play knight takes c6, then this is possible now. Rook. Or is it? Oh, is it? 97 check Kobe. 97 check bishop e7 and now the point is that the bishop oh, is controlling so mm -hmm. this will not work because earlier the knight was on d7 guys so the bishop could not protect it so he's gone uh, after knight e5 bishop e2 and i have a feeling that i'm that this will end in a draw which means rapport will move to two and half Vidit is also on two and half. Suppose yeah. he draws with Shiro. Shiro will go to one and uh, Fedosia on two hmm. in that group. What about... Do you have mini? Huh? Hmm? Yeah. I mean, mini. Mini? <laughs> <laughs> and there is this uh, place uh, near uh, CST. Hmm. Like, uh, it's called that Vada Pao Aram. Goli, Goli. Aram, Aram. Okay. Oh, that would happen? Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. Rakshit says I was making the list of hotel, hostel essentials, putting chessboard on top of the list. Are Rakshit hostel ja raha hai. <laughs> Phir to chessi khelna hai, bahut sara. <laughs> Nothing else needed. So what about Hari Krishna Amruta? Can you tell me a bit about his game? Yeah, actually there are a lot. There were a lot of subtleties in this game. I didn't see the anything previously. Only last two three moves. Say. Ah, so can we go from the top? Yeah. Hari is playing against Nikita. Which you go? Which you go? Beat Hari Krishna in the first round of this tournament when Hari had the white pieces, which was a big blow to Hari Krishna's chances actually. Because when you lose a game with white. That is doubly painful. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5. It's the Ruy Lopez. a6, bishop a4. Knight f6, castles. Bishop e7, rook e1. b5, bishop b3, castles. a4, anti martial as always. b4, d3, d6, a5. Hari goes bishop e6, knight d2. Takes on b3, knight b3, rook e8, h3. Uh, h6, knight h2, and now Hari goes for d5 break. It seems to me, Amruta, that here is a very typical plan for black. And I want to ask the people in the chat if they know this black to play, there is a typical move that black should try out in such structures. What is it? 
that you will play here first move which comes to the mind a few suggestions are bishop f8 d5 rook e8 knight b8 bishop f8 yeah no one it no, seems i'm saying rook b8 yeah is Did anyone yes that's the uh, move okay oh I... amruta well done no but let's say p no one has oh there, there's no one who said rook b8 so that is very surprising and amruta congratulations you have given the right answer and your idea is rook b5 yeah putting the rook here keeping pressure on the a5 pawn hmm. and uh, that can be a very interesting idea you know amruta then i can maybe try knight d7 knight c5 try to get rid of this knight a5 could become weak awesome but when d5 knight g4 d e knight f6 bishop f6 rook e4 knight to d4 by hari pawn takes uh, sorry knight takes pawn takes rook e8 queen e8 bishop d2 rook b8 queen f3 queen e5 queen to c6 ha ye position thi yahan pe queen e6 hari played so here there are like natural moves could be even queen e2 right that you attack the d2 bishop then there's queen c7 so yeah queen e2 to, there is queen c7 no able to analyze yet yeah. so he played queen e6 and queen c5 and now and what if i like, take on c7 yeah no so i've not seen it but mostly bishop e5 maybe so guys b5 no i lost the people uh, guys what's the move here black to play what should hari krishna play in this position Rook C8, yeah. Everyone. That is the correct move here. Rook C8, very good. That is the right move. You attack the queen, and then C2 pawn falls. And this right move has been mentioned by. Wow. Last so ten. H H. Ritankar Nath. Italian opening. Shrikant R. G G. Yashvi Gupta. Three A. दिव्यांशु कुमार सचित शर्मा एंड गुरप्रीत कौर सो इंस्टेड ही वेंट क्वीन सी फाइव या नाउ देर इज रुक बी फाइव आइडिया इज वेल क्वीन ई टू इज ऑल्सो देर बट एन यू एट द हा आई अंडरस्टैंड सो इफ यू गो क्वीन ई टू सागर After queen c7, you don't have rook c8 because the queen is no more on e6. So yeah, and now also this is hanging. So you can't no, go. If you go bishop b4, there is rook b5. Queen, queen f8. Need, queen f8. King h7. Oops. Oh. This queen f8, king h7, and this surprisingly is really good for black ah. because your pieces are so active. Wow! Isn't it amazing? That yeah. This assessment is really uh, is not easy. Correct. I mean, I might think of taking here, but then my bishop is hanging, so that doesn't work. Hmm. So actually, here you have to go back here. Okay. And then white is still pushing. Hmm. Because you defend a c two pawn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what happened in the game? So in the game b3 was played mm -hmm. rook e1 and i think hari krishna's point was that if cb then he will take rook b3 and d3 and b2 are weak both are weak but yeah. whereas for white a6 and c7 are weak hmm. so he went rook c1 uh, rook e1 queen d7 c4 and now hari krishna is thinking here uh i think d takes c3 looks makes a lot of sense 
take uh, bishop c3 so you mean you want to go into the major piece end game after bishop c3 queen c3 now rook b5 or yeah rook b5 happened? with the idea of rook d5 and yeah, I mean this. Sure. This should end in a draw as well. But if you don't take on c three, Sagar, if you don't take d c three, yeah, then uh... then I like White's position slightly because then there are no weaknesses to attack easily. Mm, not easy. That yeah. is true. And I think Hari Krishna will decide to take. Okay. Yeah, that should not be a big problem. Yeah. So. Shivsham says, irrespective of engine evaluation, the position for Hari looks solid to me, with the king decently safe and the bishop solid on f6 with arguably more activity. Yeah. Also, he has visibly less weaknesses. That true, is true, true, true. I mean, Hari Krishna's position looks pretty solid. Uh, and uh, if he is able to hold this, he will move on to his third draw, one and a half points. Meanwhile, Anish Giri has quickly drawn, drawn his game. Yeah, it was a very... Was it like uh, opening we didn't check? I mean, it was Sicilian, but it was a very complicated. Rose Anish Black se, it's like a feeling is like a sofa, right? Na, aram ka sofa, uspe bed ke se, chai pi raha hai, or draw handshake ho gaya, chala gaya. <laughs> I think the main thing which uh, players like Anish know is that. When they get a lead in a tournament, like two, hmm. two out of two, they don't let it go easily. Yeah. And uh, it's a, yeah, I think for Anish, this group, in this group stage, he looks like a clear favorite now because Hari, all, everyone is stopping each other huh. and he had won two games. So I don't see him being stopped. He's on three points and the next player is Vitugo. Who is on uh, with Hare Krishna? He'll draw the game, so uh, yeah. Vitugo is right now on one and a half, hmm. so two points. So he will still maintain a one point lead here. So, what about Rapo? Once uh, if you can show the position, no, Rapo that game should end in a draw, that right? Also after, end in a draw. yeah, after uh, rook a6, uh, rook a b8, this happened. Knight e5, bishop e2, rook a8 has been played. Are you yeah. going to repeat already? Rook b7, rook b8. <laughs> Who knows? No, but if rook b7, then rook takes a5 would hang. Oh, so sorry. here he can't play him. <laughs> I think he'll take on c6. Mm. Then uh, maybe knight c6. And then rook a8, rook a8. Rook c6. Rook c6, rook a1, uh, rook c1. So you can't play rook a1. You have to play something like bishop e6. Attacking here. Yeah, maybe there's still oh, some this play. this favor pawn, but... Oh, you're losing it because you can't go b4. Yeah. Uh, if you go bishop c4, uh, there's a mate. Not like after takes takes. Yeah. There is still not a mate. Na? So, if bishop c4, you'll lose a pawn. Rook a1 check, bishop f1 and bishop takes b3. This one, yeah, rook a1, bishop f1 and bishop b3. Hmm. We have a new member, Go Rohit. Thank you so much for becoming booster of Indian chess. So... With it now against Alex Zeshirov. Oh, rook takes d6 has happened, Amruta. And now with it has 20 minutes. So today's game quite solid, yeah, Amruta? Yeah, quite solid, Matlab. Matlab solid in the sense no real action as such. Ha. That is there are days when you have like four games which are aggressive, <laughs> peace, sacrifice, someone playing for a win, and today like all games. Gupta Vihari says, Sagar Bhai suggests me some books jisse mein wo sare imbalance theory practice kar paau jo aapne pada hai. I think there is a reassess your chess workbook. That's a very nice one. Um, we will try to get it on Chess Base India soon, but if you can find it, that's a very good book to solve them. Uh, also, the other one is Can You Be a Positional Chess Genius? That is a nice one. Oh, and uh, one more is Positional Play by Jakob Agard. That's a nice book. Slightly advanced, but nice. It's a nice one. You have to ask three questions in every position. Who, what uh, rating would you recommend is Pump Up Your Rating Book, which is like really popular? Yeah, it's a good book, but I would say that it... Uh, 
it's around Above for 1800 yeah so on mm-hmm. um daivik vika sau says what if vd lost this game i don't think vidit will lose this this doesn't yeah, seem this like a game you can't lose that vidit will lose although his structure is slightly worse and white has all the spawns well placed but black can black king is very active can i ask you one question yeah just uh, we want to remove the e4 pawn so iske liye rook d6 make two same moves king f6 rook d4 king f7 rook e4 this he is a pawn up but do you think it's enough for white yeah this is good chances for yeah for position? white i mean good chances because this is a weakness you are pawn up so that's already two advantages mm-hmm. yeah so i don't think this should be played no no of course you don't want to give up on that. yeah i mean this i'm trying to understand when yeah. a pawn down but, is it uh... i mean engine should hold this mm-hmm. but for humans maybe too tough um ej asks a book for technical decision making for strong players should be gelfand's technical decision making yeah. no technical decision making by boris gelfand is a good book for very strong players mm are you know saying that yu yangi blundered against shakriar mamedyarov mm. mm. but maybe not yeah guys i think black has a nice position here Fedosiev versus Rapport. Going back to that game, Rook Eight. He's still thinking here. Uh, Grishchuk has actually oh, kind of, uh, sort of. I think he just put this tournament behind him, Amruta, because he lost two games. Mm. Now he's drawn two. A quite pretty quick draw, actually. And Samuel Shankland versus Backrow is around even. but also you have to see that this pawn is slightly weak but also the b3 pawn is weak so should be around equal here yeah rakshit is planning to make a video on all free resources available to improve your chess apart from all of your improving chess series and other series is there anything else i should add from cbi yeah we have some free shows on our uh, shop as well 10 shows which i used to interview players so that is something which people can be interested in because they are like um exclusive stuff it's free but you have to go to the shop and get it for free and of course our academy is going to come up soon we are almost uh on the verge of finishing the work on it so that will be a, i think a massive contribution to everyone here <clears throat> in terms of chess improvement I think we were looking at c4. He did take Amruta Achha, bishop took, c3, so and now he played queen d6. That's such an interesting move. Correct. What if queen takes d6? Yeah. He takes d6 and then bishop f6, g f6. Oh, he is specially uh, allowing this. Structure. Yeah, and Hari says that he can go here and here. You have to go rook e3 or rook e3 or bishop e7. Rook e7, then rook b5. Ah, you stopped rook c8 and rook c2 because after rook c8 there was rook b7. Hence you can. Yeah, yeah. and now uh, rook a7, rook takes, rook b7, rook b5. What? How is it no, better? No, I mean rook b5 means take, take, and you have to calculate this oh, pawn and game. Pawn and game. Yeah, it might not be so simple. Hmm. So perhaps here you go king g7. rook takes b3 and hold this end game which should be a drawn uh, because although the pawns are weak but it's too little mm. of an advantage Yeah, you can look here that Amruta hmm. Fedosiev and Rapport have exchanged pieces, takes takes, but uh, piece up right now for uh, no, pawn up. sorry pawn up for White. 
how do you recover it yeah bishop c2 that was the move i was thinking bishop c4 knight c4 takes and then uh, bishop b3 <laughs> yeah bishop d3 or bishop b3 and you recover the pawn you have the bishop pair and pretty easy yeah draw like everywhere in that sense yeah. not much happening in fact you could have planned a night uh disco and everything somewhere <laughs> yeah Is there any interesting game or not today? Because see, Shankland, Etienne, back row equal. With you go, Hari Krishna equal. Amin Tabata by Anish draw. Andrekin Grishuk draw. Shiro Fedosiev report draw. Shiro with it draw. Mamedyarov Yu Yangi yeah this one also draw. And Predke MVL. Yeah, this one is interesting. And MVL has played his favorite Sicilian Nidorf. It's always fun to see MVL, uh, you know, trying his main opening, A6. And also prayed K at that position. He had only 10 minutes with a lot of moves. So he has taken a lot of time. Oh, Bishop at six. Acha, disco. Yeah. And I think uh, MVL is better, Amrutha, here. Uh, maybe Queen F4 was not needed. Maybe B4 was a better move. But Queen F4 and Rook H3. This seems like Black should be able to be slightly better. So 20 moves in 10 minutes. Yeah. In a complicated position. Which is another advantage for MVL. Yeah. He will convert this. For sure. I need some water. Yeah. With it. I'll put with it skip. Yes. Um, a few moves have happened. Bishop D six, C D six. Rook d6, uh, he played rook c8 here and rook takes a6. Now, if you go rook takes c2, oh, that happened. Oh, yeah, that, we were yeah. there is this. If you go rook c2, then there is rook a7 check, and if you go king f6, there is rook h7 and uh, rook a2, rook b7. Yeah, we stopped here, but suppose you go a move like rook a5, there is b4, correct. Yeah. I mean, rook a5, then there is b4. Rook a1. King h2. Rook a2 trying to attack this. King g3. Yeah, and then you can't defend this. Rook a3 check. But there is a good rook a3 directly. Yeah, 4. Ah, that's why there is a very nice move here. G5. G5. And you give up the b5 pawn, but you have the check here. The king has to go back and uh, you attack the pawn again. King, if you go king g3, there is perpetual. If you go king g1, oh, still there is a check. So you keep giving check, yeah? So the only way, let's just say, in, in this position. Oh, if, if white gives the f2 pawn, then he, he has to be... Uh, very worried about the e pawn. So that would be a draw. Let's go back to the position of rook a6. Oh, he takes. Right. No, he now did not take No, he takes on a6. So with it, will take on c2, I believe. Looks like the most human way to play. He can also go king no, f6. No, this is already think. hanging. Or on... king f6. So it, it will convert, no? Not really. Maybe. a4. ba4. B A four. Rook C two. Rook C two. Yeah, this is four versus. Yeah. Kuch nahi hai jada. King G four also Rook A two. Where was it? King G four ko Rook A two. I didn't understand very well. 
हाँ जी फाइव को किंग जी फोर एंड लेट्स गो टू व्हाट हरी कृष्णा इज अप टू या इज इट रियली इक्वल और एनीथिंग हैपेन देयर या इट्स अराउंड इवन नाउ आफ्टर क्वीन डी सिक्स ऑफरिंग अ क्वीन ट्रेड हियर ही वेंट बैक बिशप सी थ्री क्वीन टेक सी थ्री एंड सी फाइव हैज बीन प्लेड बाय हरी still i would say there are these slight possibilities in this uh, position yeah for sure because of the b3 pawn if white goes weak. wrong this is weak <laughs> if i d3 is weak gupta bihari as could you suggest calculation by akho bagad for a 1400 rated player it would be tough mm. it would definitely not be easy but if you are ready to work it could be interesting but you have to work on it some positions when you no, don't get the answer you can try to you know be patient Correct. try to understand the method to study would be different also it's very good because there are some techniques which he is given which could remind you again and again like candidate moves is given so those will really help if you have sure. not played many tournaments combinational vision prophylaxis yeah and a lot of notes test positions this is a lovely book for sure i'm thinking that he would win the pawn but what happened bishop b2 knight d3 takes takes bishop c3 ah so this is how he saved the pawn so maybe fedosiev has small little chance because of this extra pawn and an outside passer So then, oh, if with it, the we, if uh, Fedosiev wins and with it draws, then Fedosiev joins with it. Acha. Yeah, along with. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Hmm. So maybe Amrita, I think all the yeah. games are going to end in a draw. Okay. So, so maybe we can end uh, today's yeah. stream. It's not. I know it's too soon, but I don't think there's <laughs> going to be anything else happening. Yeah. They all look pretty equal. Maybe you can then answer a few questions. And yeah, sure. Can... Let's let's answer. Talk to the you chat before. Yeah. Are you coming to PSPB Ace and ITD? I think it's happening in Mumbai, Amrita. When? PSPB then maybe we will go and visit it one day. Uh, Anand Tendulkar, is it hard or make easy making a career in chess? I don't know. It depends. Uh, definitely, it was not something that we had thought of that there would be a career or anything. But now with so many people following chess, so many uh, new brands being interested, so much, so many sponsors coming in. Uh, so many new companies trying to do something with chess. I'm sure that it is possible now for more people to make a career out of it. Um, Nikita says, "Sagar, I'm rated one three five five. Fidi, I want to know what I should learn step by step. Please help me." Uh, Nikita, I think there are many many things that a one three five five can do. Um, we work on your tactics. understand what's happening wrong if you are maybe it's better for you to try and understand with yourself or with the help of a coach what you can do better and then uh, i can suggest you some material on that because without knowing your games it's very tough hello one comes is big fan from sri lanka hmm. Wow, she says, "Have you considered taking breaks between the stream?" Yeah, possible, Amrita. It's a it's a good idea, but we have hardly ever done that. By the way, after Rook takes a six, H five was played. You can't save this. So a four and e three has been played. Oh, e three. E three, and let's say I take. Then I take on no. First I take on a four, right? Yeah, take. Rook, rook takes, takes. Rook c two. 
you will go B4. Oh, but then that is a simple pawn up, right? No, it's not simple. Ah, B4 ko you have rook e2, Sagar. Yeah, also rook b2. No, Just... first rook e2, you force him to go rook a3, then rook b2. Yeah, true. So what will he do? No, but if you do this and I go this, then... Or b5, rook e3, rook b4. No, that's losing, rook behind the pawn. Rook e3, rook b4 <laughs> is losing. I it have easy bad. pawn, na. Just push and wins. So it's better to not go greedy and actually play rook b2. Rook a5 ko? Yeah, just wait. King maybe. f6. The rook on a5 is really passively placed. Yeah. So that's why you can... Uh... Yeah, nice. Oh, so he's played e3. Very interesting. Thank you Arnub Goswami for your super chat. And uh, HH says, when will you do chess classics? I'm very excited for the games. Maybe in a couple of days. Nikita asks, any idea about preventing time trouble? By the way, my name is, name is Ritwik. I think uh, one of the main things is to understand that time trouble is actually not a good thing to have in your games. You should try to stay away from it rather than saying that how can I overcome it just don't get into it and basically you can't play good chess in time pressure no one can not even the world champion it's best to stay away from it by playing fast so improving on your decision making because why do you get under time pressure is confusion yeah so solving a lot of positions pattern recognition you need to basically practice <laughs> Oh, from today onwards, I think Pragnananda is playing another event. Okay. So, Shyam says, I am big fan of you. You have taken chess in India on another level. God bless you. Thank you, Shashank. Please teach me how to remember squares. A few people are there who want to remember the square. Square. There's no live game here, I guess. Pragnanda, yeah? Yeah. He's playing in Italy. An Anukul Jain says Prague is 3 out of 3. Mm. Let's check finally with its game one time. Yeah, E3. He's still thinking, yeah? 23 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh... My feeling is, guys, that today Vidit will draw, so will Hari Krishna, and we will not have a change of leaders in any place. Vidit will still be in joint lead with Fedosiev because his game will also end in a draw. Uh, and Hari Krishna will move to one and a half. So that's all out there from myself and Amruta guys. Thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you all tomorrow. And once again, tomorrow is a rest day. The day after tomorrow, we'll be back tomorrow. I'll have more such some stuff, maybe some streams coming up with our national champions and with our talented players. But until then guys, good night. Bye bye. Uh, Sanyam Chauhan says I have crossed rating of 1000. Thank you, sir. Thank oh. Congrats, Sanyam.